Just for a few moments, I want to talk about the greatest find of all. The greatest find of all. I think most of us are accustomed at some point in our life seeking. I think most of us. We seek to do better, we seek education, seek a job. And so we're accustomed to being on the move, looking hopefully to better ourselves. And you can't do it by being lazy and just sitting down doing nothing. You got to go out and seek for it. And sometimes we don't even know what's gonna happen when we seek. I remember as a, a young person coming out of a, first of all, out of a high school, I said, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? And uh, so I chose, I said, I'm going to be a police officer. So I went to East L.A. College where they had a good police science program. Did a lot of studying there and found out that back in the 1960s they were quite, well, I won't say it because I'm streaming, but anyway. <laughs> It didn't pan out like I wanted it to. Cal State LA had a great criminology courses there and people that usually went from East LA went there, what have you, but had no idea I would end up in the corporate world and I certainly didn't know that I would end up being a pastor one day. But sometime in our seeking, God takes us where we don't know we were gonna go there but we do keep on seeking to do better. And God lets us to know that in our short period of time, and we only have a short period of time to make decisions and hopefully we make the right decision as we carry on. And I was thinking along these lines concerning us in this room. I'm talking to everybody, but I think saints ought to be most grateful when they have come into the knowledge of this divine truth. I was performing a wedding on yesterday and I was looking out at the multitude of the people and I was somewhat saddened because I could tell that so many did not know him. You come to a wedding, come to a funeral, and they have a survey out now. Uh, the Barney Report came out that there's an increasing number of churchless people. They say they belong to a church, but they only come on days of weddings and funerals and special occasions. They call that the churchless people. They probably should even define it even you just don't go to church. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that claim something that they're not. They're really not in church. You don't want to be like that. You want to come and garner the information and let it saturate your soul that you might be what God wants you to be. On Friday night, we were talking about transformation because it'll bring about a translation as we're transformed by God. There's a maturity that takes place in each child of God's life if they could just apply themselves to the things of God. And once again, we only have a short period of time to do it. The psalmist said, in the 90th Psalm, he said, for all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are 70 years, and it's by reason of strength they are 80 years. Yet their boast is only labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. There is no human being on this planet. They live any length of time they're going to suffer some sorrow along the way. There's going to be some kind of test, some kind of challenge. It's going to be a, 
attack from the adversary. You can't get away from it. It just comes with the territory. But thank God you're not alone in the battle. In spite of all that may transpire in one's life, that may bring tears to your eyes, God is always standing by to take us through. He said, in the world, you're going to have some trouble. But in me, you're going to have some peace. And I won't leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you no matter what happens. We have God on our side. Because one thing we know, that he makes everything beautiful in his time. And in, my, in your time on this planet, if you get 70 or 80 years, amen, that's a blessing. A whole lot of folk leaving here a lot earlier than that. But God's been kind to us. Amen. And I give him the glory for allowing us together. This is not a cemetery. This is not a place where we come, amen, to be downcasted. We come to be lifted up. Amen. That's why I want you to treat one another right. You don't come to discourage nobody. You come to encourage somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't come to drag somebody down. You don't know what they've been through during the week. You don't know their background. You don't know what they've gone through. And amen. You talk mean to them and what have you. You can drive them out of the church. Amen. You have something to say on that Facebook y'all like to be on. Say something encouraging. Don't be saying something that's going to tear down, amen, somebody and trying to get your point across. In fact, maybe you ought to stay off a little bit longer and work an extra two or three hours on your job. And maybe you have a little more money in your pocket. But Amen. It's not good, amen, to always be complaining, amen, and belly aching about something when God has smiled on you. And the real, true Pentecostal apostolic church ought to be a happy church, ought to be a church full of gratitude. In spite of all that's going on, we ought to just be giving God the glory. Around this globe, there's a lot of hurt going on. There's a lot of people being killed. People are being blown up. Amen. And you see what's happening in the Middle East. And, and oh, my God, the terrorists that are everywhere. Amen. It's a dangerous place where we live right now. But God has smiled on us. We see sickness everywhere. Adding on, amen, the hospitals everywhere. And cemetery, amen, is constantly getting, amen, candidates, amen, to put the blanket over them. But God has allowed us to live long enough, amen, to find out what is really going to make a man happy and to give God the glory at the same time. And I want you to know you're blessed when you're in a place like this. I don't want you to ever take, I uh, take no credit um, uh, to myself. I'm only here by the grace of God. I thank you for all the accolades, but uh, I'm just somebody that God scooped up off the asphalt streets of Los Angeles, cleaned up his life, turned him around. Amen. It was kind enough to saturate my mind with apostolic truths, and I'm not ashamed of what God has done. But I didn't come down here this afternoon, amen, with a sad story. I don't care how I feel in my body. You feel it's all always right for me give God the glory because whatever I'm going through is going to make me better. Amen. He's working in my behalf and I'm going to give his name the glory every step of the way because he saw me when I was knitted in my mother's womb and he brought me out and he knew every uh, nook and cranny that I would have to experience so I give his name the glory on today. In the book of Matthew chapter number 7, just a few verses today, you're going to get out early. You can have an early dinner so you can come back and share out. Amen. And give God the glory. You ought to be glad to be able to come to church and give God some praise. Amen. That ain't nothing but the devil that gets you. Amen. In a place where you're sad all the time and broke down and amen. Don't have no joy. I'm not fussing at y'all. I'm just telling you the truth. After you done worked all week. Amen. And dealt with some kind of crazy boss half the time and amen. Done dealt with uh, whatever you had to deal with. You don't come down here for us to smash you in the carpet. We come down here to lift up the name of Jesus and thank God for delivering us, amen, from the hands of the adversary and thank God we found out, amen, that there is a God in glory that saves, amen, from the guttermost to the uttermost and I give his name to glory. The Bible says in the seventh chapter of the book of Matthew in verse number uh, 13, enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many, 
There are many who go in by it because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life and there are few who find it. Hallelujah. The greatest find of all. I just want to say something about that. They say there are three major religions on the planet right now. Christianity, but Christianity is made up a lot of different denominations that don't give you total apostolic truths. But as far as under the heading of Christianity, they say it's number one. Number two, amen, would be Islam. Number three would be Hinduism. Then you got about 4,000 other faiths out there, amen, that are much smaller than these three. When it gets to Islam, Jesus Christ, amen, his death on the cross means nothing, amen. How the deity of Jesus is not presented. When it gets down to Hinduism, they don't even know who God is. They got so many different gods, they probably can't even count it, amen. They don't even know who started the religion, but Hinduism is the oldest religion, amen, on the planet. Amen. And they don't even know who found it. Amen. But God has been kind to let you and I to come in. Amen. And find that narrow way. Hallelujah. And I give his name the glory. You and I could be in any other religion but this faith. We could be in any other thing. We could have been raised up, could have been over in some false religion. Amen. That leads to the destruction. Amen. You don't have to shout amen all the time because of some material thing. That's minute. What you ought to be glad about is God allowed you to find him. He's a God that can hide himself. But thank God he allowed us to find him. Hallelujah. And he found us that we might find him. And you ought to be glad he put a seat down in your soul. I don't know about you, but I went from place to place seeking truth and thank God one day God allowed me to come into the place where I could find out what he was really calling for and give his name the glory. Amen. It's the greatest find of all finds to find the way of truth. Amen. And eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus who is the Christ. Say you talk about that all the time. I'm going to keep talking about it. Amen. In the book of Proverbs, I'm talking about a fine now. In Proverbs chapter number 8, it says this in verse number 1, Does not wisdom cry out? And understanding lift up her voice. She takes a stand on the top of a high hill beside the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, uh, entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice to the sons of men. You, O you, simple ones, understand prudency, and you fools be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things, for my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is abomination to my lips, and all the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. Verse number 34, blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at at the post of my doors for whoever finds uh, me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord but who sins against me wrongs his own soul and all those hate all those who hate me love death. Hallelujah. For whoever finds me finds life. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter number 1. And the Bible says, hallelujah, in verse number 27, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame 
the things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence now watch this but of him you are in Christ Jesus watch this who became for us wisdom from God righteousness sanctification and redemption hallelujah that it is written he who glories let him glory in the Lord I came to thank God that we found the wisdom of God Jesus Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God and we give God the glory I said Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God hallelujah and if you find him you find life let me be very exclusive here there is no salvation outside of the Lord Jesus Christ and don't give yourself amen hallelujah a whole lot of credit for being smart just be glad that God has brought you into the truth and allowed you to find him. You show me somebody saying, I'll show you somebody that went out seeking it sometime in their life. Hallelujah. And thank God he did not close the door on our search, but he allowed us to find him and he that finds him finds life. And I'm glad to report eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is exclusively the only one that can save and deliver. If we don't do nothing but come down here and say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the glad we're able to say it because most folk are not calling on that name this afternoon. Most folk are not trusting in that name. But we that are in this room, there ought to be a gratitude about what God has done for us by allowing us to find the straight and narrow way. Thank God somebody came into your life and introduced to you the one and only one that is able to save. Hallelujah. And for this we give his name the glory. Thank God the greatest find in your life was not your wife. It was not your job. It was not your money. Amen. And somebody left you in a wheel. The greatest is fine that you found out how to be saved hallelujah how to be delivered that's the greatest find to find Jesus is to find everything hallelujah in the book of Acts chapter number four glory be to God I told you I wouldn't be long this afternoon but I want to give God some glory before we leave here I think it's the order of the day as I told the brothers while they were saying Halloween we were saying hallelujah and I give God the glory well somebody else was trick-or-treating uh, we were having a treat and we give God the glory for saving our soul and I thank God I got a hallelujah deep down in my soul hallelujah I am absolutely sure that Jesus Christ is Lord and God and we ought to give his name the glory for that I'm sure that in our short span on this planet God has allowed us to come into the eternal place hallelujah uh, living under the shadow of his glorious wings of love and mercy and for this we give him praise in the book of Acts chapter number four and the Bible says Lord Jesus help us um, to give your name the glory I tell you what I'm going to be glad about being in heaven uh, because ain't no devil there to throw the blanket over the saints of God for giving God the glory. Oh, hallelujah. It's amazing as human beings uh, how folk can get so excited over stuff ain't worth two dead flies in August. Uh, hallelujah. I watch folk, amen, sometime at these uh, ceremonies and how they can jump to the music and pop their fingers, old broke down folk snapping their fingers. Amen. It's some song they remember when they was used to whatever. Amen. But thanks. And then come to church and look at me like I'm speaking in tongues the whole service. No bring a praise at all. We ought to adore him every day of our life. 
before we ask him anything, we ought to adore him. Amen. Because he's worthy to be adored. We ought to give his name praise because he's worthy to be praised. You wouldn't have no Holy Ghost if God didn't look down upon you. You wouldn't have no righteousness, no peace, no joy if it wasn't for the Lord Jesus Christ allowing us to find him. And I'm so glad I sought him out and I'm glad I found him. It's been the greatest find of my life. I'm glad I went from place to place looking for redemption. And I praise God for allowing us to find him. He's called us out of all kinds of situations. And I thank God for allowing us to be in the place of redemption on this afternoon. In the book of Acts, the Bible says in verse number 11, this is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, ah, my, my, by which we must be saved. We ought to thank God we have that one name that's above every name. We ought to shout every time we hear that name. We ought to give God the glory every time we breathe that name. We ought to thank God for well, how we've been baptized into that name. We ought to thank God we've been washed in the blood. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we ought to thank God. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. He's the only one that is able to save. He's the only one that can turn your situation around. His name is Jesus. Yeshua is here. He is Lord our Savior. He's Yahweh Jehovah. He is Elohim. Hallelujah. He's Nissa Shalom. He's your victor. He's your peace. He's your Shama. He is your presence. He is your Robaka. He's your healer. He is the resurrection. And he is the door. And I give his name the glory. And I give his name the praise. He is the eternal life. He is the first. He is the last. He's above everything. He is the creator. He is the sustainer. He is the motivator. And I give his name the glory. He is the provider. And he is the protector. He's our way maker. And we give his name glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Give his name the glory. I didn't come here to sit down. I came here to praise him one more time. Satan, the Lord God, rebuke you. It's time to give Jesus the praise that is due his name. Lord Jesus, mighty to save. Lord Jesus, mighty to save. I praise his holy name. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Nobody can save a Jesus. Nobody could turn me around but Jesus. No could give me his spirit but Jesus let me give his name the glory hallelujah hallelujah come on say neighbor I was sinking deep in sin I was far from the peace for sure but the master of the sea he heard my despair we cry from the waters he lifted me now safe am I love lifted me love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love when nothing else could help love Nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Do I have a witness in the house? Do I have a witness in the house? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. At least you tongue talkers ought to praise him. 
said you tongue talkers ought to praise him. Say tongue talkers ought to praise him. Because tongue talkers have the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is the love of God shed abroad in my heart. So let me love him back. Let me praise him for loving me. Because he first loved me and now I love him. So I'm going to give his name the glory. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Come on, call that name. That holy name. Say, neighbor, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. So glad I found it out. So glad I found it out. Let me hear an apostolic say it. I'm so glad I found it out. I found Jesus in the Father. I found Jesus in the Son. I found Jesus in the Holy Ghost. All these three are one. I give his name the glory. Say, neighbor, I'm a monolistic, monotheistic child of the living God. He's my father in creation. He's my son in redemption. He's my Holy Ghost in emancipation. And I want to give his name. Y'all didn't hear me. He's my father in creation. He's my son in redemption. He's my Holy Ghost in emancipation. And I'm going to give his name the glory. His name is Jesus. And for this we give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless that holy name. Praise that wonderful name. The devil is a lie. He don't want you to give God no glory. But we got a mighty army here. And we're going to give God the praise. There's some warriors in the house. There's somebody that's delivered in the house. There's somebody that found it out. There's somebody that God has allowed them to find him. And we give his name the glory. Hallelujah. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. 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 There's no other name I know. No other name I know. I say praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Be silent when you live here, but while you're here, shout. Hallelujah. He said, when you enter my courts, you come in here with gladness. I said, when you enter my courts, come in here with gladness. Let me see you smile. You ought to smile, because God has smiled on you. I said, you ought to smile, because God has smiled on you courts with thanksgiving. Praise me in the clap. Praise me in the shout. Praise me in the dance. Praise me on the cymbals. Praise me on the organ. Praise me on the string instruments. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise me from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Praise me. Act unseemly. Just go on and praise me. We are not drunk as you suppose, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, in the last days, in the last days, God said, I'll pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Somebody ought to praise him. lives the living God. This body here is empowered by Jesus Christ. And I give his name the glory. Come on, help me preach here. For by one spirit are we all baptized in the one body. Say, neighbor, the mystery that was hid 
in ages past has been revealed unto the saints, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the living God? What you going to do with that? What you going to do with that? What you going to do with that? Hallelujah. There ought to be an earthquake in your soul. There ought to be a shout in your soul. There ought to be a praise every time we call that name. So glad I found it out. So glad I found it out. So glad I found it out. so emphatically because if that spirit be in you that raised up Christ from the dead it shall quicken your mortal body tell somebody I will get up I will get up I will see Jesus I will shout at the throne of Jesus I will praise his name I will sing a blessed song in glory y'all don't hear me I will sing the blessed song in glory I will sing the blessed song in glory we might as well get along you may have to stand next to me when we sing in glory I said we might as well get along you may end up standing next to me in glory when we praise him for calling us out of every kindred tongue and nation somebody give him some praise so glad I found it out oh hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus look at you look at you some of y'all won't even open up your mouth praise him like you complain. I want you to praise him like you always complaining. Just stop complaining for a few minutes and give God some glory. Let's stop complaining and thank God that he brought us out. Let's stop complaining and give God the glory. Hallelujah. trials. It's hallelujah in my tests. It's hallelujah in my sickness. It's hallelujah in my pain. It's hallelujah when I'm broke. It's hallelujah when I'm in the valley. It's still hallelujah because he knows the way that I take. And after I'm tried, I shall come forth as pure gold. God's working on me. Tell somebody God's working on me. I am his workmanship and I give his name the glory. I give his name the praise. Come on here. It's church time at Peace Apostolic. It's time to give God the glory. Thank God for his name. Thank God for his name. Tell somebody I'm in the right church now. I'm in the right church now. It's a Holy Ghost filled church. It's a Jesus name church. It's a blood washed church. It's a church where I'm rebuked. It's a church where I'm corrected. It's a church where I'm exhorted. It's a church where I'm instructed in righteousness. It's a real church. It's a church that believes in the rapture. It's a church that believes that Jesus is coming back. It's a church that believes in heaven. It's a church that believes one day I'm going to be dressed in a white robe. It's a church that believes in eternal life. It's a church who has the glory of God in their soul. Somebody ought to praise him right now. Say, I found it out. I found it out. I found it out. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor, stop waiting for somebody else to praise God. You ought to have your own praise. 
days and don't wait for some feeling to come over you. You shout for joy. If you start shouting, the joy will come in. You shout for joy. You ought to give God some glory. You ought to give God some praise. Baptized 
believer shout. Let the baptized believe. 